Okay, I'm recording you guys. Okay. So if we were having a conversation, it sees straight up, it sees straight down. Okay. It sees us and in 3D. So come here, come, come in a little bit. So, so the final product is for them to be in an immersive experience. Okay. Right, so with a phone or a head, headset. Mental therapy for 30 years. Now, not not as refined as this, right? This is really the first kind of affordable 3D 360 immersive camera. It's, it's under a thousand dollars. So after you know, you look back just three or four years, what people were doing is they were taking a series of cameras like GoPros, and, and they were ganging them. It, it's a much bigger, more demanding especially in post-production. So this is extremely user-friendly. Just turn it on, turn it off. Do, our software does the stitching, and then you have an immersive experience. Oh, wow. Because I think I, for, for us, the stitching was the thing that took the longest. Exactly. By getting everything together. So, so really what we believe is you know, an immersive storytelling is, is very, very powerful. So that's what our camera is for. Is about wow. to take the stage. Is, that is not the only color he comes <laughs> in. I mean, that, that's a nice yellow. That's a nice yellow. Yellow puts a smile on people's face. It does. It's illuminating. We have it in red. We have it in blue. And we have it in black. Four. All right. <laughs> For one of them. Well, it's that red and black. Right? Yeah. It's good looking. So, yeah. Just, so you just set it up and... Oh, so I'm with sound. sound capture. It has four audio mics. The sound here, the dueling stages would be a little challenging for it, you know, to find separation. But if there was not that activity going on and we were just caught having a conversation, it picks it up beautifully. Oh, wow. Okay. Christmas. And if that, let's pretend there was no music here, and we heard the saxophone, and we were in an immersive headset, it would draw us. It would draw us to find out what's down there. Wow. Okay. Or you know, children screaming, crying. It would cause us. Awesome. That is awesome. Things are changing. Yes. Yeah. Now I wonder how far away we are from the from a 360 motion picture. Well, actually they've had them. Really? Which one? Disney had one back in 74 called America the Beautiful. And it was in a 360 theater, and there was railing, so you didn't fall over. Um, so those could come back. So you, you act in this environment. I forget how long it was, maybe 10 minutes. Um, but you could look in all directions. So uh, it's actually in a museum somewhere. I'm not sure. A cyclorama camera. So it's been done before. Uh, there are semi-portable canvas geodesic domes with projectors, and you can project the whole dome. So some of them are very big, where hundreds of people can go in, and some of them are like the size of this tent. So it's 
just so much. So much. The first 360 as it is. The, uh, the, the, the second wave of 360. Well, for us, it's putting it in hands like people like yourself. Who's going to get you? This, this is putting it in the hand. This has the potential of putting it in any hands that wants to do storytelling. So, the group that was here supporting. Oh, Charlene? Charlene. Yeah. Charlene? Yeah. Yeah. So, if you put a camera in the hands of somebody that was speaking to friends and family. And that, that could be in a three, you know, in a living room. It could be, you know, around the dining room table. The, the storytelling possibilities when you can show the whole environment can be very powerful. Yeah, that, that I think that probably lends to a, a more authentic storytelling experience. It doesn't look so produced because I think sometimes when it, when it has a, a slick production feel, it, it kind of loses some of that, that genuine quality. So, yeah. so. It'll be fun to watch what people do with it. Yeah, I mean, I have fun with the project that I worked on. I, you know, kind of want something else to work on, actually. But yeah, that was, that was fun for me. Well, it was challenging on a lot of different levels. Right? <laughs> so, yeah, because we had our um, our director. She had us going. We like, she like, okay, go over here. All right, one, two, three. All right, now go over here. All right, okay, that's good. Now let's go upstairs. All right, let's go upstairs. We like, can we have a break? Oh my God! But the final product was so awesome. So it was like, you know, I was like, look, there's a bar over here. I'm gonna go and get something to drink. <laughs> so, but it, that, it was, it was a good, it was a good experience. I love that. Yeah, to be able to say, cause like, you know, none of my friends can say that they worked on VR. I just said, yes. I even have a writer's credit. Oh, I love that. So there you go. Yeah. Thank so, you so much. Perfect. Okay. You got enough? Yep. We good? We're okay. done. <laughs>